Hi everybody, this is Jenny and welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that have been watching my recent videos and calling me a hater and telling me that my videos have no purpose, welcome, welcome. I don't care what you say. I'm here on YouTube to make videos about things that I want to just like everybody else does. So you calling me a hater and telling me that my videos have no purpose won't stop the motion, okay? Thanks for watching. All right, so today we are going to be talking about somebody that I've been watching on YouTube for like maybe 10 years or so, maybe a little bit longer, honestly. Like, I think I started watching this person when she first came out and I've been watching her all along here and there. I haven't followed her journey completely, but I have been watching her from the beginning for the most part. Um, her name is Lisa Lisa D1. And I want to have a disclosure here that I think she is absolutely beautiful, but there are some concerning forums and stuff that have made comments about some things that are going on that I think we should talk about. So the main thing that people are questioning here is her diet. So if you've been watching her for a while, you know that she goes, she cycles through like these different diets and stuff. I know at some point in time, she was like mainly just eating Zaxby salads and just different salads. And, you know, she's always been mostly low carb and stuff, but here recently, now she's completely carnivore. And I know the whole carnivore thing is a hit and miss subject. Some people say it's really unhealthy. Some people say that it's good for you. I guess it just all depends on who you speak to, what doctor you speak to. But just for some, some clarification here, um, if you type in carnivore diet, it does say that there is an increased risk of developing heart disease because you're prioritizing food that's high in fat and saturated fat, etc. So you do have to be very careful with this diet and you definitely want to consult a doctor before you decide to partake in this diet. So she has done, she's on the carnivore diet and she is very open about it, very vocal about it. And I had seen this one comment here saying that... Um, some people are concerned that it's becoming very obsessive and it's almost like it's turning into an eating disorder for her. So I was kind of curious about it. So I did look at her Instagram just to kind of see what was going on. And some of the comments I had seen on the forums were talking about her face is very sunken and her body is just, it's, it's looking very mal malnutritious, excuse me, and things like that. And I, I mean, I do notice it, but... Again, she's very beautiful and I mean, it is what it is, but it is, it is alarming. She's very, very small. She has always been very small, I will say. And even when she was eating her salads and her vegetables and, you know, her other low carb stuff, she was still small then. So I don't know what her, I mean, maybe she made a video about this. I think she might have, I think it has something to do with like some flare ups or something that caused her to just give up on everything except for meat. But I mean, I guess it could be alarming for somebody that's a little bit, you know, older in age. I'm not really sure her exact age. I think she's in her 50s to just give up all other forms of nutrition other than meat. I mean, I don't know what kind of havoc that might have on the body at this at her age. So it's scary. I mean, she still looks very beautiful. But, you know, I did notice some of the pictures where her face does look very, very different. Like that one, her face looks very sunken in. Um, there was like another one. I think this one right here. Her face looks extremely thin and sunken in in that one. So, yeah. But the main reason I wanted to do this video is because I kind of want to compare her situation in regards to the fact that people are saying that she potentially is showing signs of having an eating disorder to other famous people that are carnivore. And it, I mean, the difference is very shocking. So... There is this other woman on YouTube. She's pretty famous now. Her name is Laura Spath. And she is known for posting all these outrageous videos about how she orders her carnivore diets when she goes to just normal restaurants and stuff. And she does get a lot of hate and a lot of flack. But um, the complete opposite of Lisa, I feel like her face is just so full. She looks very radiant. She doesn't look unhealthy whatsoever. And as you can see, if you look on her channel and her Instagram and stuff, when she's showing... Her meal sizes and things I mean 
they're pretty sizable meals that she orders or makes. It's not like she's just eating one hamburger patty or two pieces of bacon. Like she's always got like a pretty full plate of food. So even though, again, like I said, with the carnivore situation, it may or may not be the best, the best diet for people to do because of health reasons. Um, the fact that she's still getting the calories in and a normal amount of food, I'd say, perhaps it means something, I guess, you know, the fact that she is eating a normal amount of calories to sustain her body. But on the other hand, if we look back at Lisa and her Instagram, when she does show um, videos and pictures of what she's eating, let me scroll down and get to the ones that I saw. Um, let's see. Like, it's just, it's almost minuscule compared to other people on carnivore diets. Like, you'll see them, the large plates full of meats and different varieties of meats. But Lisa, she'll go and to Chick-fil-A and just get like a small thing of chicken nuggets. Like the, uh, the grilled chicken nuggets. She did this video here. She did another video, Arby's, where she only just got one burger with no bun. Um, she does a lot of ones at McDonald's where she literally just gets two small, tiny hamburger patties with cheese on it and it's just to me compared to what other carnival people are eating it just seems like a very small amount of calories and that is alarming and it could be damaging to her body and her organs and her metabolism all that stuff so I guess only time will tell if she is struggling with the eating disorder I really hope her the best and I hope things get better for her but again she's still a very beautiful woman and I think it's just a great discussion to have what is everyone's thoughts about the carnivore diet? Do you guys think it's healthy? I mean, I just think we should talk about it in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. And is that all I wanted to say about it? Let me see. Yeah, so we talked about the risks and everything. So yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's it. And again, I do apologize for my crappy filming setup. One day I will fix that. But right now we're still filming on the iPhone. So yeah. Alright guys, again, drop some comments, let's have a discussion. I'll see you guys next time.